Hello everyone, welcome to our Laravel REST API development tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to implement all of our authentication APIs in Swagger documentation. So let's start. In our previous tutorial, we have added all of the authentication APIs in Postman. Today, we will going to add that in this Swagger. At ENB, L5 gen Swagger generate always true. So that if we run PSP version serve, if we change anything on our routes, then Swagger will be automatically generated. So let's see, let's first add this login route. So we can go to product controller and copy this route. We have done this in our previous tutorials. So copy this and paste it in login controller here. And also for login, let's take the routes from our postman like api slash login right okay so it would be like api slash login so for text we will add all of the authentication apis to like authentication text so every authentication APIs will be added in here and also add a summary for this like uh, login also add some description and also change this operation id to login right so what it would be it would be like our method name so it would be login and also as it's a post request would not pass like this right it would pass a post request like data so now we give to date we give some kind of data so that user can store or post type data right so if we go to our that our level package darko online l5 swagger if we go to bottom we can get here a good example of swagger php click here and we can get a good example let's go to pet controller inside of pet controller go to like a post yeah this is a post and you we can actually copy this request body okay, copy this and paste it in we don't need like any parameter for for the login route right so the, as this is not a get request right it's a post request so we have added one uh, we have added this so if we come here we can see that it's like component schemas pet actually it's already added here but we'll not go through go through like this process we can go to a little bottom and inside of a request body will gives like a media type and inside of this media type we'll add our schema specifically we don't need this uh, json content we, we can get this media type but our media type we can use multi-part form data but for now actually uh, in our case it's for login it doesn't necessary to an uh, upload an image so we can copy this media type like uh, application www form url encoded and then and for schema just we can copy this instead of this uh, we can copy this what see what's here it's your name and status so let's see we have got it or not so if we just reload it yep it's now perfect and we can see if we click on try out we can see like name and status okay that's that's great but let's just update this for email and password right so for as we log as for login we will only use email and password right? so we have updated email password and the description we'll just reload it let's see so it's like user email user password perfect but uh, we don't need like it's it could not it should not be empty right so add required true so that someone cannot post empty value here okay it's creating error because required is not acceptable or like that way we can add required and after these param properties at the bottom we can add required and this property name so look like this so copy this required and after all of the properties required and add this by comma like email and then it's like password Yes, and also this is this record is doesn't necessary here okay so let's just reload this yep perfect so now look it's like like required someone cannot just doesn't give value it would not execute that's perfect execute okay so if we click on execute it's saying that fast has to get request cannot have a body okay definitely it shouldn't have a body but what it should be like it should be post right it should not be like get so it would be post so reload it so now click on execute again 
and this time we have got the data and we can got the data for this post request as perfect we can also see the curl request so what is the next part so we have got this api token right so now what we should we should do we should actually make a way so that user can place this api token anywhere and he can request other routes right so let's do this if we go to config slash l5 swagger.php we can see there's a good ways so that we can give, give security definitions or like uh, security schemas so for this like uh, open api 3.0 support this so copy this same term and after that paste it in here we have a bearer document like way so click like bearer perfect and other things is not necessary so we, we need to give the token like this first write bearer and then token so save it and reload it great now look we have get this authorized all right it's perfect so we have to give like uh, give like bearer and then give the token okay that's great so now let's uh, log in again so that we can get that token data here so after login copy this bearer token and paste it in here in authorize write bearer and then space and then enter the token so and then click on authorize so after click on authorize so in our previous part like we cannot get this data get cannot get the product data because it was an authenticated route right so now let's see if we can get this data if we click on execute uh, we should we are getting unauthenticated access okay no problem we are getting unauthenticated access and what needs to do if we get some authenticated data right now so one thing we need to do if we go to app controllers and product controller we need to pass one thing like for security schema we would write here like uh, bearer equal security equal to bearer and then fill the empty so that it it its schema would be like different look if if you look look currently it's there is it's not like then authenticated route it looks like that it's a public route but if we now reload it so that you can see it, it it would be a different like look this is now locked that means it's a authenticated route right that's perfect so and if we click here and okay so it's already authenticated so we don't give give this thing again and if we hit it right now execute it wow we have got the authentic products data and definitely we have authenticated and look whenever we requested we have already sent the authorization bigger this perfect and in our every authentication request if we just place this one 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 line then the authentication stuff would be added automatically that's great but for our login route add it's not an authenticated route so we should not put this for login controller here right because it's not an authenticated route right okay so now let's copy this and add it to for our register route so go to our register controller and then click on register paste it in here and it would be like app slash register its text would be authentication control d control d like right says register but operation id it should be register small letter right yep and also and let's see what it looks like save it and if we reload it if we click here oh well, looks we have got two routes now api slash login and api slash register and but for register these are all, all also the same but what will i i will give you a different approach so that how we can proceed like request body sometimes we have a long long request body so it's hard to give you every data like this so we can also we can also don't uh, use this to our postman easily right but if we uh, get these things look like this if we look if we go to register and get the content like this like json that it's easier for everyone to work with postman to work with that it's 
it's easier also you can just copy this content to your code base and you can use like you definitely will use this API in your front end and you can use this just JSON to your front end and you can use easily but if you use this way it's hard you cannot get those things in a JSON right so it's it's very good approach to do things like in JSON so let's uh, change our register route things so that we can pass JSON data here Literally, Alpha Epsilon uh, done a great job. If we just change this uh, WW form and world and create application slash JSON, it would be converted to like that. Look, if we reload now, reload now, perfect. It's it's now like that. Uh, email string, password string. That's perfect. And but we can also give some example value here so that uh, we don't need to pass every time the data. Like we can pass like example equal. Like for our case. Uh, we have a user like uh, John Doe maybe we have already registered uh, logged in with that user so let's uh, give an example value John that that example dot com and also give a password so that password is like one two three four five six seven eight so that then it, it would be simpler for us let's see how it works Okay, perfect. So we don't need to give every time the values. It's 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 important, right? Sometimes you you should just test for development purpose. So it's it's not good practice to so give all of the times to data. So we have plus some example data, right? So let's click on execute, and let's see if it works. So it's getting the response body like two hundred something went wrong. So definitely for register we will give some more data like name, email, password. Okay. So also password confirmations like this. Like if we go to our register, we we need to give also this. So let's just copy this property um, as its register. Copy this and f f let's give first to like a uh, name, user name, and name like. Uh, John Doe okay the name email password and another is confirm password so copy this and instead of password property it's like password confirmation user confirm password okay so also give the same value here so now and for required everything is required for our case right nothing is optional so let's everything like here so that uh, no unwanted request could be go to server okay perfect let's save and check okay we have got all the default data let's click try try it out and click execute yep email has already been taken so perfect it's the exactly same issue we need to show but let's change the email like uh, john one to one that's a just different email execute it and this time maybe we should register successfully and we should get the access token perfect that's super exciting so we have got the register out perfectly done and change this invalid it should not be invalid status fellow it should be invalid uh, input also same should be go to login valid input and and let's copy this product controller data to for this profile controller because for sure we would it, it's like a get request and it's like api slash profile so it should not be products it should be it definitely it also would be in authentication tag and like uh, user profile user profile and but summary is not like not necessary like that mm, we don't need parpies we don't need anything any up and definitely we need the security perfect invalid uh, status invalid and there is no, no nothing like invalid input like that could be like unauth unauthenticated so it could be like an response like this so we can handle this response like 
unauthenticated so and one thing in previous episode we have made a mistake like we have given this uh, response type would be json response but we have returned this this is not, not good so what we should do we should like uh, return this response success right for every every pay request we should pass the response like this so just cut this and paste it in here right so so it we can give some message like user profile data okay and let's save it and let's go here reload it so uh, that's an error so i can fix but i'm i'm showing you an os so that you can fix too so if we go to our storage and go to our log slash laravel dot log you can get the response like uh, return value so just save it so just reload it and you can again then get operationally must be you need duplicate found index okay so let's go to here and change it is from index to show right it would be show and so now it's it should work so reload it yep perfect so look it's also authenticated and also we have already authenticated so if we click here we should get that data if we click try and out yep we have got the data user profile data Perfect. and also look it has been added in this authentication tag right and last thing what is pending it's like uh, logout so just copy this but for logout it would be a post request so it instead of get it would be post and also we don't pass anything here only just api slash logout so user profile user logout and that's it so and only no unauthenticated user cannot do that so maybe it would be it would be where it would work as it is so let's reload it also need to change the authentication on operation id it would be logout we have now four routes in our authentication so just hit enter and let's see if we just uh, try it out so execute so it should be logged out yeah logged out and let's try to get the profile data again if we can access this data Boom. <laughs> so it's unauthenticated access that's great so no one can access it but uh, this authorization so we should manually do that for now but hope so there's also an web but i'm skipping that right now let's let's copy the access token again and check if everything works perfectly or not just click on authorize log out it write bearer then token authorize and let's get the profile data again or not user profile execute yep we have got the profile data you click on product list we can get the product list also let's see perfect perfectly done so we have got everything okay thank you so much for this for showing this tutorial uh, so we have added all of our authentication routes in here and in our next episode we'll actually use our products crowd operations part like create and show so let's wait for the tutorial thank you please, please like comment and subscribe to my channel your one comment inspires me a lot to give my next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.